So today is the third episode in a myth-busting series, what you actually do not need to launch, grow, and scale a spiritual business online. Shooting from my pool and... So today is the third episode in a myth-busting series, what you actually do not need to launch, grow, and scale a spiritual business online. Shooting from my pool, and there's a little bit of noise if you're listening to this on the podcast, I apologize for the audio. But this one is something that you're probably not going to expect, that you uh, really don't need in order to launch, grow, and scale a spiritual business online specifically if you're creating a program or offer and you're in the creation mode this tip today is going to blow your mind and it's not what a lot of other coaches are teaching but the actual thing you do not need in order to launch grow and and scale a spiritual program online to grow your business is the actual program itself you actually do not need a program created before you can start generating revenue for your company. And I am an example of this, my clients are an example of this. You actually do not have to have any content created, none. You don't have to have any, you know, deliverables or PDFs, um, audios, videos, graphics, all the things that you're probably working on and may have been working on for months you actually can go straight to revenue very, very quickly, especially if you're a spiritual messenger channel and you really trust your intuition and your guidance system and you allow yourself to deliver your program live the first time. So this is why I teach a very minimal to zero build time required to grow, launch, and scale a program online for your spiritual business. Once you have the idea and the blueprint of what it is that you're here to really offer something that is really magnetic to your soulmate client and you have all of the details of that fleshed out, you can actually go straight to sales. And I recommend that you do that because in actuality, you're going to learn so much about your, your, um, your niche soulmate client by going straight to sales, hopping on sales calls, and you're gonna learn so many other things about them that might have flown under your radar. This happens all the time. And you're gonna see themes popping up that the universe that is guiding toward you, like you're attracting a certain theme. And this all will affect the creation of your program. So in actuality, if you build your program out in advance, you lose the, the intuitive guidance that is gonna be flowing to you through um, uh, being able to connect with your soulmate client in the process of connecting with them and signing new clients for your program or enrolling new students into your program, you're going to learn so much more about who you are here to serve and who's really benefiting from your services. And this happens all the time. Uh, so for example, one of my programs, Sacred Leader Academy, uh, my premium group coaching program, I generated over five figures in sales, over 10K in sales, is closer to, I don't know, maybe like 13 or 14 and thousand in pre-sale alone before I ever even started coaching anybody, before I had any anything created. So that was just pre-sale. But the beauty of delivering the program live the first time, like I did in Sacred Leader Academy, is I got to tweak the program as I went with my founding members that signed up when the program was new and delivered live the first time. And so my client, I have a case study I wanna share with you real quick. One of my clients, so one of my founding members who had signed up with some of the biggest names in the coaching industry in the past and had still yet to successfully launch herself into her coaching business. And um, is a very well-known coach that she um, hired and worked under. If I mentioned the name of her or her school, you would recognize it probably immediately. Um, but she didn't have success with that. 
because one of the reasons it was so constrictive and rigid there wasn't like an intuitive aspect to it of, uh, that really honored the guidance and wisdom that was coming through and there was so much room for procrastination perfectionism and sabotage to set in which is what i see happen a lot if you build out your programs in advance which is really the old paradigm of digital coaching right um i did that when i first started out and it took six months to build out a program that resulted in little sales and little intelligence on the the clients that i was here to serve even though i knew you know who my niche client was and what i was passionate about there was still so much that i wasn't gaining from interacting with people on a day to, on a real level and so my client um, when she joined sacred leader academy she actually released some of that control and surrendered to it and it was a scary process you know because our ego wants to control things our ego wants to like do everything like step by step and be very rigid and controlled. It's more of a masculinated energy, but our ego always wants to know like the outcome in advance and things like that. And when you build intuitively, you're sort of flying by the seat of your pants and you don't necessarily have a set way it's supposed to look as you grow it. And that's scary to the ego. Also the over masculinated energy wants a very, you know, wants to, you know, it's a very masculinated energy to want to, um, you know, check everything off in a box, get it all done and do it all in a certain order. And, you know, it, it provides a sense of security as well. And so it really gets you out of your comfort zone when you, when you embrace the process that I'm talking about today, which is a very intuitive build style and a zero to minimal build style. But when she released the control and she surrendered to the process and she followed the steps that I provided in Sacred Leader Academy, she landed not one, not two, not three, not four, but five paid in full clients during pre-sale. And then two more joined right after that to follow long before she had any program created and long before she ever had a name for her program. She was still tossing around the name of her program. And so if you are stuck in procrastination, perfectionism, or sabotage trying to create your program in advance, I would say this is the old paradigm of online coaching and really embracing um, a zero to minimal build style and recognizing you do actually not need a program to actually start generating revenue for your business. Um, and this is actually a very smart, intuitive, in the flow, divinely guided way to grow your program versus one that's very, um, you know, controlling every little single piece of it, planning every single piece of it out, trying to, you know, create some form of certainty for yourself by creating all of these uh, things in advance. But in actuality, I find that the number one thing when I hop on the phone and hop on uh, strategy sessions with spiritual entrepreneurs is that process of putting the whole building out phase and trying to, you know, do everything like step by step in advance will actually cause a lot of um, room for procrastination and perfectionism. And then what happens is nothing actually gets done. What could have taken just a couple of weeks takes, um, takes six months to a year or more or never. drinking my coffee out at the pool this morning. Hmm. So I know it's not what you're thinking or not what you were probably expecting that in order to grow a program online, you have to have all of your T's crossed and your I's dotted and you have to have every, all your ducks in a row and you have to do everything step by step and you have to do it all in advance and you have to check off all the boxes and you have to get it all done before you can ever start talking about your program. No, no, no. In Sacred Leader Academy, in my program, um, by week two, you are given the module to create your blueprint so that you can go directly to sales after that. And if you have the courage, which is what I help you with, to step fully into your power and your purpose and get out of imposter syndrome and trust the divine guidance that's coming to you and through that is meant to be shared, and you trust the fact that um, everything's going to work out perfectly and how everything is delivered and you really thrive on going live or at least you want to do things more live in the moment but you're maybe afraid to if you can get out of that fear and do it anyways and embrace you know building your program out live then you really don't have to create anything um, 
before you actually start generating revenue for your company. But if the live thing sort of is just not your jam and you still like to do things a little bit more polished and pre-recorded, that's cool too. I still teach you, even if you want to do things pre-recorded, how to go to sales immediately before your program is created and you still can create content that's pre-recorded, um, but not all in advance. So. That's all I wanted to share with you in this video. I wanted to bust that myth that you actually have to have a program created in order to start generating revenue for your business. And if you wanna learn more about how I do this and you wanna feel the difference between being in a very constrictive, rigid way to build out your program that's causing a lot of overwhelm, burnout, and procrastination, and you wanna jump straight to soul line success. Trust the guidance, trust the flow, trust the intuition, build as you go. Um, generate sales for your company immediately, which is actually a very, very important part of your um, process. If you actually do want to be an entrepreneur, generating revenue is key. So it's not something that can get pushed off. You know, this is something, a whole nother video, but there's a lot of spiritual entrepreneurs that have this aversion to sales and aversion to generating revenue and aversion to promoting their services and talking about their services and stuff like that. And that's um, a problem. If you're attempting spiritual entrepreneurship, you really have to embrace the sales process. You have to embrace uh, receiving. You have to embrace being worthy of receiving. You have to embrace the fact that your gift is highly valuable and by not promoting it and not sharing it and not speaking about it, you're actually doing a huge disservice to the people out there that actually do need what it is that you're offering. And so there has to be a huge shift around that. Um, if that's, a, if that's an issue for you, um, which is a whole nother video. So I'm gonna save that for another video, but this is what I wanted to share with you today uh, regarding the zero to minimal build out, build as you go, intuitive, uh, in the flow style for building your program and actually going to sales without actually having a program created. So. I hope this video finds you well. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them below this video wherever you happen to be watching it. And if this really interests you and you wanna learn more about how to do this and feel the difference between um, compartmentalizing all of your tasks and doing everything in advance and trying to figure it all out in advance and overwhelm and burnout and procrastination, and you really wanna just jump straight to soul aligned success with faith and courage and trust and fully step into your power and really step fully into your mission then watch the Soul Line Success Masterclass below this video, wherever you happen to be watching it. You can also find it in my bio at Inst on Instagram at Spiritual CEO. And if that masterclass resonates with you, then you will get a special invite to hop on a 60 minute deep dive strategy session with me where I do help you map out your six figure and beyond soul business blueprint for your specific, um, for your specific uh, mission and gift and who you're here to serve. So, um, that's all I wanted to share today. Hope this finds you well. Let me know if you have any questions or comments and I look forward to tuning in with you in another video very soon. Namaste.